Hello everybody and welcome to another toy review. I have been lucky enough to get a hold of a brand new series from Beaver and Acid Rain. This is the B25 series. I've been a fan of the Acid Rain products. I'm always watching Vangelis's videos when he gets hold of her new set. I've always wanted to get a hold of some and I saw some when I went to Hong Kong. I love the whole mech armor, the kind of Titan look to things with the big heavy tanks and the artillery. If you're a fan of things like uh, Gundam or Macross, something like Robot Jocks or Pat Labor, these really do remind me of those sort of things. Now this is the B25 line, which is just like Acid Rain, but done in a 128th scale, making the figures 2.5 inches, hence the name. This is the Complete Wave 1. We have the Jungle Soldier, we have the Speeder Mark 1R, we have the Jungle Stronghold ST2K, and we have the 88th Sand Deluxe set. So, let's start off with the BW101, the R711 Speeder Mark 1R. We have a nice solid box, and we see that you can put your pilot in there, and it can transform up into a dune buggy. You've got pictures on the side, and again on the back, we have a scannable barcode which takes you through to the site. And of course, warnings, do not eat your toys. Every set comes packaged in a nice clear clamshell. Holy cow, these little guys are absolutely awesome. Now they stand at two and a half inches, which is about the same sort of scale that we got with the likes of the mask toys from Kenner back in the day. Uh, but these are extremely scarily Posable. I mean, the heads can look up and down. We can tilt to the side, left and right. The shoulders can come out to the side. We can rotate them around. We have a rotation on the upper bicep. We have a nice bend at the elbow. We have wrist rotation. We get an abdominal crunch. An abdominal crunch on a figure this size is kind of unheard of. You get motion forwards, backwards, out to the side we get upper thigh rotation we get a nice bend at the knee and we get a ball jointed ankle so we can go up down left right and we can also get some pivoting and you know me i'm not one <laughs> for imaginative poses but these are exceptional genuinely very impressed. I've seen Vangelis's videos on the acid rain stuff and I thought oh, it looks good, but until you get something like this in hand, uh, they're just super fun. I really like the attention to details on these little guys as well. If you look just under the head where you've got the ball socket going in there, you've actually got a sculpted additional piece. So it looks like he's physically wearing a helmet. Uh, so it's not just one standard piece. I do love the little firearms as well, some really nice detail on there, especially for something this sort of size. These are good because you can get some really nice kind of action-packed poses and they don't take up a lot of room at all. Now there is also the option for interchangeable parts. You can like pop the hands off, swap those out. You can pop the head off and change that out. So you can make your figures somewhat unique. And of course, they come with the vehicles. Uh, this is all made of a very solid, very professional plastic. Uh, I kind of would kind of liken it to some of the Transformers third party companies, such as Make Toys, something along those lines. It's a very well made product. Uh, colors are all exceptionally well done. You've got a nice kind of sparkle behind that blue there. Uh, tires all roll nicely. Let's just untab this front section, just unpeg from both sides and bring this hinge backwards. We can then bring our pilot in. There we go, we have him tabbed in there. He doesn't have the best posture in this mode. We can just bring his feet onto those side pegs. But we do have this nice little chain gun there at the front, mounted on a ball joint. And yes, it, it does roll. It does roll. It does have a very good military style look to it. And of course, as per the box, it does transform. You just unplug those legs, bring down the heel spur sections, rock them backwards on this hinge, 
And here we have him in his rolling mech mode. I love these legs, they're ball jointed so we can just move them forwards and backwards. Uh, I've also found a place to holster his pistol as well. He can stand on these back pegs and it's just a matter of just angling these rear legs. Uh, you can bend them over, it can be very much like the kind of ATSTs as well. You've got, you've got that chicken walk thing going on but it's a fun little figure. You kind of imagine him kind of being at the front line there and sending these troops out. I really am getting a very kind of Robotech sort of vibe from these sets. Second set in the series is the Jungle Soldiers. Now in the BW102 set we get three figures, all of which share the exact same articulation as our first figure. These however come sporting gas masks and a huge array of weaponry. I mean it's the fact that we get rocket launchers and we even get little tiny rockets to shove in there as well. I think it's zero hour. Zero hour and military muscle men. These are what these remind me of. If you don't know what those are, Google is your friend. To be honest with you, it's actually been quite a while since I've had this much fun with a set of action figures. Uh, you get so many weapons with these guys and it's, it's the attention to detail, isn't it? I mean, even the chain gun, the barrel, is it the barrel? I guess it's the barrel that rotates and the articulation on these, I know I've said it, but it's insane. You can get such natural poses. I mean, the guy firing a rocket launcher, these really do bring out the kid in me. It's like I was playing with my GI Joes when I was a kid again. And before we move on to the third piece in the set, I'd just like to talk about the kind of skirt coverage here and uh, the tops have a rubbery feel to them so they don't hinder any of that articulation at all and they really kind of flex along with it which is nice. Uh, I kind of thought they were going to hinder it but there's a cut in the right place on the crotch etc and it doesn't hinder the articulation at all uh, and it really does kind of add to the figure. Let's just look at that detailing on these for something which is two and a half inches this this is incredible these guys really are living proof that it's not always about the size it's what you do with it now the third set is the jungle stronghold st2k this actually comes in pieces uh, we get the pilot i'm getting a very kind of overwatch feel about him lovely sculpt love the paint applications on the front there as well he's kind of got a robotic vibe going on again we get that amazing articulation which allows us to capture some great expression in these figures i love the color as well it's a very nice color i kind of see this i know it's a pilot but i see this it's got a slightly more important than the other guys i think they're more frontline fodder and he's a pilot to a mech uh, therefore he's instantly more important <laughs> uh, let's just put his gun in his hand. Again, all of the weapons are interchangeable. You can switch them out between figures as to other hands and heads, etc. But it's not only the figures that are interchangeable. If we take a look at the mech, the mech we actually have to build ourselves, but we get this interchangeable port. This is a universal port on all of their mech-like products and you can actually swap and change the artillery, the cockpits, etc., to suit your own needs. So if you get various different ones, you can switch them out and make them all look different. Now, the mech actually has two modes. The first mode is its kind of tank armored mode. We just bring these pieces up and over and there's a tab just there that's gonna tab and lock in. Looking at the side of the shell, we can bring these artillery tabs in and lock those into place on both sides push in and secure untab this piece from the base bring that round and this peg here is going to just slide in on that universal joint between the legs push that in and then you have tabs either side and they of the treads and they just tab in to the sides of that universal port. There's also a tab 
this is the top here which plugs into this piece on the underside of the torso and there's also a tab just here which locks in to this piece here so it, i mean it really is firmly secured i mean what's that three points then last but by no means least we do have a tab on the top here where this silver section will tab in as well we can just bring in our chain guns and just have those in either side of that cockpit you get two additional joints included in the set and we also get various different foot pegs on our max as well so we can have our figures leaping off them or standing on them there's a lot of interaction the chain guns can move up and down and of course we can open up the cockpit section and just look at the detailing there on the inside the sculpt is absolutely awesome and one thing i'm particularly impressed by is because of all the extra articulation you get in these figures when you do seat them down it looks like a very natural pose and that's something you can't get with a lot of figures this sort of size and bring down the canopy and there we go there we have him just looking through the front of the mech there we can drive along the actual paint on this is rather nice we do have the insignias throughout it's kind of a black wash over it as well so it doesn't look pristine and new it does look rather dirty and used and i like the gold as well the gold is the same gold that we saw on the chest of the pilot now to transform the mech up we want to bring the legs downwards and we can bring the feet down to do the arms you need to just bring it out to the side slightly and flip this tab up that's going to go up and over the arm can then come out on a ratchet joint bring brought round and then bring the fist upwards to the front and we get fully articulated fingers on there although these are pinned at this point we do have two joints of articulation on each finger and we have a ball jointed thumb we can then bring the shoulders outwards untab these thighs and then drop this piece down until this circle peg pegs in to the underside and just give that a push and there we have the mech in his robot form we can just bring down his canopy and slide the gun sections to the front see now this is what i'm talking about he's got that really nice gorilla sort of vibe to him hasn't he he's got ratchet joints forwards and backwards we've got ratchets out to the side incredibly tight we've got rotation at the elbow we've got a bend at the elbow as well absolutely love the elbow swivel as well which can pivot downwards on a friction joint just to give that extra depth you have rotation on the wrists we do have some up and down motion as previously mentioned we do have that pin and the articulation on the fingers the upper section can also rotate obviously your figure inside doesn't but when we close up the canopy you can't really see the head anyway so it does look like he's looking left and right you get a nice ratchet rotation we also have an up and down axis here as well so it can move forwards and backwards almost like an abdominal crunch and we can bring that all the way around so we can bend up and down so we can kind of lean over and point and shoot at things at an angle which i think that's a nice touch we do have forwards and backwards on the legs we have coming out to the side as well as this individual joint on those treads which can move forwards and backwards independently and of course it does also pivot on that ankle joint and it's not only the ratchet joints that are universal we can also add the chain guns to various ports throughout the artillery so we can switch and change where we have the weaponry even out of his cab because we have those feet ports sculpted around the mech the posability options are literally limited to just your imagination for those of you that follow my transformer reviews you know that i generally tend to make up small storylines and plots in my head and what i've got here i've got him piloting the mech and basically there's a lot of dirt and a lot of bullets flying around and he's had to open up the front canopy section because it's got covered 
in dust or grime. And uh, yeah, just open that up so we can actually see what he's doing. And last but not least, we have the fourth set, the BW104. This is the 88th Sand Deluxe set, Stronghold ST1S, S for sand, and the Speeder Mark 1S. So this is a set consisting of what we got from the 01 and the 03, but done in the sand deco. Love the figures with this. Uh, the pilot for the speeder, and this is probably my favorite of all of the figures thus far. There's something about him, I'm getting a really good kind of G.I. Joe vibe about him. Uh, the sculpt on these is incredible, especially for the size. I've said it once, I'll say it again, genuinely blown away by how fun these little guys are. Now the sand speeder is pretty much the same as what we got with the speeder mark 1R, except it's done up in this really nice kind of dirty sand deco. We've got your badges alongside, we've got the markings on the roof. Again, it's not just a clear color, it's done with a kind of black wash over the top of it, really making it feel battle-worn and not fresh off the assembly line. The main difference about this set is the mech. He, in essence, is very similar to what we got with the O3 kit. Again, done in this nice sand deco. And we have the different sections on the arms. These are all sculpted as one piece. We have the fold-out panels on the sides. And we also have a button. If you push the said button, we have spring-loaded missiles ready to fire. Now, these aren't actually projectile missiles. They don't actually fire, uh, but it's a very nice feature nonetheless. Now, we do lose some of the articulation. Of course, we don't get the hands either, but uh, I, I do like, I like firing missiles. You know, they're fun. We can just launch those off. Uh, that's a nice little touch. Again, we get some more of these adapter extenders so that's now three different possible things that we can interchange on these we've got the ratcheting joints for 8.5 mil we get the four mil pegs for the weaponry and we get the three mil which is like the handheld weapons and devices so you can chop and change so for example we can plug those ratchet joints into the side of the cockpit and now he's heavily armed <laughs> but we also can use the like trailer hitch section at the back there which can kind of give us the illusion of a centaur style mech and having those step up adapters uh, really does help if your speeder uh, just needs a slight upgrade <laughs> so there we have it ladies and gentlemen wave one of the b25 series of the argot military uh, Absolutely love these figures, can't recommend them enough. There's just so much versatility with them. Now it's not only the figures they're making, they're also making dioramas, etc. Uh, so we're gonna have an entire world made up of interchangeable, highly posable, very fun figures. And honestly, I cannot wait. I've included the links in the description below where you can purchase these and find out more information on the sets. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, feel free to give it a big thumbs up, share and subscribe. If you are subscribing to my channel, make sure you hit the little notification bell down here somewhere. That lets you know every time I upload more awesome content. Until next time from myself and the B25, wave one figures, ah, goop.